Hi guys, it's Monsi and welcome back to my channel or hi, how are you? Welcome if you are new. I'm so excited that you guys are here today and I'm very excited for today's video. I did a little, little, little stop at Sephora um, to pick up one thing and of course you get a couple of things. I'm not doing a haul, but I am going to be reviewing an eyeshadow palette that I'm like so excited to review for you guys. Um, I picked up the new Carly Bible Anastasia palette. You all know how I feel about the Anastasia um, palettes. Besides their Norvina collection, the, um, I like that Norvina palette that's like this size, but when it came out with like the big like artist press pick one, one, was I'm fan of that one. But I love these ones and I love the Carly Bible and when I saw that they came out with it, I was like, yes! So I went to Sephora to pick it up. So I'm going to be trying this out for you guys today. Then um, I also just grabbed this little holiday bundle from Fenty Beauty that I thought would be fun to play with. So that is what I'm doing today. I have a lot of my face already done because I didn't want to take up too much of your guys' time. So we're going to dive right into it. All right, guys, I do need to quickly prime. I'm just going to take the Anastasia Eye Primer. I think it'd be fitting since I am using their shadows. They, of course, have formulated an eyeshadow primer to go specifically with their shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop some of this on my lid. Okay, we are all primed and we're gonna open up this pretty little box. So of course, when I look at it, it's just very much her, very glam looking, but not like that glitzy glam, a very feminine glam, there we go, which is just her in its entirety. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this, if I can get it open. If I'm like yelling at you guys, I'm not trying to, but I, can, I can't hear out of this ear. Um, I'm waiting for my ear to pop and it's been hours and it like hurts really bad. Okay, ooh. So it looks like it'd be embellished, like with real like rhinestones, but it's not. But you, it does have texture to it, but it's not gonna like fall apart. I like that a lot. So there is the palette, and we're gonna open it together. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I am super excited for this. So oh my God, here is the palette. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I cannot wait to play with this. I'm gonna swatch all the shades for you guys as well. And then I'm gonna, ooh, they soften the brush up. The last one was really rough. This one is much softer, so I'm already excited about that. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, 14 shades. One, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six mattes. One, two, three, four pressed glitters. It looks like a duochrome and then three shimmers. So a good balance of shades and I like that the mattes are very transitional shades um, and good definition shades, it's nothing crazy. And you know, let's just, let's just stop talking and I just wanna touch a few of these to make sure like it still feels the same. So this one is Bali, Bali. Oh yeah, she went to Bali, I remember that. It was a vacation she went on. So there's, that's a really good brow bone highlight. Then we have Bible, which is the one that's named after her. So they feel the same so far. Ooh, Mandela. This is the one I think is a duochrome. Although I could just be mistaken. Uh, we'll see, we'll, we'll play around on that one. Feels kind of iffy. Then Libra, I'm assuming she's a Libra. Oh, that one feels nice. And then we have Jody. Oh, is Jody her first cat? Jo you know, I'm gonna start moving it more this way because I'm terrible at this. Jody. And then OA. OA? What, what, what does that stand for? That one's definitely a pressed glitter. I can tell. Oh, Lord. That one just is really. Okay, be gentle with that one, you guys. Um, definitely a pressed glitter. You definitely have to use like a glitter glue with that one. I can tell that one's gonna have an decent amount of fallout um and it's really soft so you got to be careful with that one yeah that one's kind of on the chunkier side but it is a pressed glitter i'm sorry about this okay then bowie which is a neutral almost cool toned brown wait i forgot her shadows like honestly the shadows don't usually swatch the best they perform really good though so let me wipe these off Oh, that's messy. Let me see. Do I want to make it up in here? Do it so you can see it like this. Okay, so we have Bear. I don't know if you can see that one. Then we have Moo. Then 
we have chai. I remember when she got chai. She was so excited. Chai. Then we have Cindy. And then we have Stev. And then we have Aura. Okay, so you guys, the shimmers in here are really, really, really buttery. So you definitely gotta be careful with those ones. And the last one is my angels. Right there. So that is all 14 shades. So now we're just gonna go ahead and play with them on the eyes. As you can see, they're like really buttery. That's why that one got kind of messed up. So you definitely gotta be careful with them. Okay, so I am going to start out with just a transition shade. So I'm going to start out with Chai because that is just granted the shade that everyone will gravitate towards for transition. So far, the same amount of kickback that they generally have. So that blended out so well. It definitely is a little messy in the palette, but that's really standard for Anastasia shadows. Like there's no avoiding it. I don't know, but it's just like the payoff that was incredible. And unlike the other one, I don't have a crap ton of fallout. So, so far, so good. That's a really pretty shade. Like this transition shade, it's super pretty. Okay, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Cindy right here. I'm going to use that same brush. These are really pigmented, you guys. It's actually almost one of the better ones out of all the palettes that they've come out with. Like, super pretty, you guys. I'm kind of, like, mixing that with the transition shade to, like, manipulate it a little bit. Ah, my ear. It's so bad. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to grab another brush. I'm going to grab the one that's actually in the palette and pick up Bible, which is that, like, muted rosy color and I'm gonna put this oh that was not what I wanted I'm gonna put this on my outer portion right here like oh <laughs> my gosh you guys this might be my new favorite palette holy guacamole it's so good so Like her color selection is just like phenomenal. A little bit of Libra and I'm gonna put that on the center of my lid with Outfix Plus first. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm getting a little fallout just because of the texture so I'm just gonna take a wipe right here. All right, I'm gonna grab a little flat brush and I'm gonna go right into, I'm gonna try the shade Mandala. I'll see how that goes, right here. We'll see how this performs on its own first. It's one of those shades that I'm not sure if it's gonna be a dual chrome. I can't really tell what it's, ooh. Yeah, it's gonna have a shift to it, which I like. Just, you can really tell it's a dual chrome with the swatch. But I can tell this is a lavender with like a pink shift. Or is it a pink with a purple shift? I don't know, but it's pretty. So pretty, you guys. This shade is phenomenal. That is so freaking pretty. I love that shade, you guys. It's, it's phenomenal. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of Libra and keep this nice and like... Slate colored in the center. I'm barely touching in. 
just because I don't want it to overpower that lavender. And then I'm gonna make my outer portion a little deeper. God, it hurts so bad. I just want it to pop. I'm gonna go with Bowie a little, um, just to darken it up out here. I'm take a little Bowie, just on the most lower portion. And mix in a little bit more of Bible, 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 because I don't want it to like be super dark. But I want like a little bit of a sh a little bit of a transition there. So I'm kind of using both of these as my trans or my definition shade. That first brush and just blend all of that out so I'm happy with that on top on the bottom I want to play around with a couple more of the shades so I'm gonna take the shade Stev right here And then I'm going to take a little bit of chai again to blend that out. I'm gonna take a little bit of bear right here, which is the like very light gold. It's almost like a white gold, but it's like um it's a satin, not a matte. And I'm really just gonna highlight this inner corner and like bring that out. Or I mean bring it in. And I'm gonna go in with Bali for my brow bone. I'm just trying to use as many of the shades as possible just to check out like the texture, how they perform and everything. All right, so I'm going with this gloss, the uh, Sweet Mouth Fenty Gloss Balm. I've never tried these either. Oh, wow. That's pretty. Guys, so that is it for this look I created using the new Carly Bible Anastasia collab palette. I actually have to say, hands down, this is my favorite collab palette that they've come out with. Um, well, in the formula. The formula is incredible. Two, it's super glamorous, but it's incredibly wearable, you guys. It is so freaking pretty, and it's coming out. This is really good for, I'd say, Christmas time, New Year's, and then you can even bring this out into the spring and summer. She really, really nailed it on the head when she decided to do go with this color story. You've got some good ones for like the holidays. New, you, you have everything in here. This is gonna definitely be a very universal year-round palette that I can tell is gonna look good on every skin tone. The formula is incredible. I genuinely have no notes, you guys. Just keep in mind the typical Anastasia formula. It's gonna have some kickback. Um, just be gentle with your shadows. It doesn't like really fall out onto your face. So the formula is really good um, if you are someone who isn't bothered by kickback in the palette, um, which that part doesn't bother me. It's when it's on here and all over your face that bothers me. So, which is the issue that I had with their artist palettes. But this is phenomenal and I'm obsessed with it. This is definitely the one I probably recommend most out of all of them. This is definitely way better than the um, Modern Renaissance palette. I freaking love this. It's so pretty. I love the look I created, so no notes. Um, as for the gloss, whew, it is pretty. Very simple, but when I grabbed this holiday set, I was like, this will go really good with the palette because I want to do something a little different for my lips and my cheeks. I want to be able to try out something new to go with the palette, and I think I chose some stuff that goes really good with it. So this is definitely a really good combo. The Fenty highlighter, really good, but definitely on the chunkier side. So you definitely, I think you should probably use like a sponge when you apply it, but it is really pretty, and I love the shade. Um, again, this was the set. It was the Bomb Baby 2 Mini Lip and Face Palette. It was like, it was like $24, not a bad price. So 
I highly recommend everything I've tried, you guys. I love all of it. It's really good. So I'm really glad I did this video and I'm back to having good makeup days. But yeah, so thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'm sorry if I seem kind of like not as talkative as usual. My husband was in the next room and I feel like so awkward filming when he's like right there. If he's downstairs, I'm good to go. Like he's downstairs now. So I'm like, bleh, 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 bleh. but when I was filming, he was like literally right there. So I was like, uh, uh, uh. so that's why I was a little quiet, but um, yeah. So I love you guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. I have this really incredible series really incredible series that I am planning. I've been doing notes and everything for it. So how you guys can help me with this series is as of right now, if you've been watching my videos um, as of recently, uh, tell me things that you think I can work on when it comes to like how my makeup looks, how I do it. So I'm not telling you exactly what the series is yet, but that is how you can help me. So let me know in the comments. Oh, for criticizing. Um, yeah. So, anyways, that is everything. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Goodbye.